Hi, I wanted to show you how to grade by period for a Dropbox assignment that we were chatting about last week, late last week. So um, over here, one thing when I went into your class, I made these show up on the left to help you out a little bit. So you can go to Grade Center and then in full Grade Center, we've got your period four class. So I clicked into that. And then what you want to do is scroll over to the assignment you want to grade. And up here next to the title of the assignment, go ahead and click that drop down circle and choose grade attempts. And this is what I think you said you had found. Um, actually, this Crocodoc, that is an outside um, service that was being blocked by our servers. And not too long ago, that got unblocked. We figured that all out. Um, I didn't personally, but our guys in technology did. So um, now we have this available. I don't know how it's going to work on the iPad. Um, you can try it and see what you think. I, I do agree that you said this looked a little bit small, um, definitely, because that would be hard to read, especially since I don't know what it, most of it means. But a couple of things to make it bigger. You can um, make your menu go away on the left. So hover that till you find your arrow and click that out. And that does bring it into a little bit bigger. And then if you want it even larger than that, of course, you've got your zoom tool here. So if there's something you want to look in particular at, that might be nice when you're um, writing something. If you're going to draw, maybe you want to zoom in and write on it. And it's going to look like you're writing like a kindergartner, but the students will think that's funny. <laughs> so you could zoom in and write and then zoom back out again um, in order to do a little bit more detailed drawing or writing. And then, of course, you have your highlighter tool. You've got your comment tools that you can play with and decide what you like. And of course, you can make a text box and type some things in. All right, I won't save these on here, so I won't have messed up this uh, Mr. Blount's paper here. <laughs> I just wanted to show you those things. And again, uh, you had mentioned that you thought you'd found it. Um, again, you can zoom in as much as you want to see the students work. So play around with that. I think it'll save you some time in the long run as far as downloading and then maybe uh, I know before this I would download the students assignments and then I'd type on them and then I'd upload them back to the students via email and it'd also be interesting for you to take a look at it from the students perspective and ask them after you grade one and draw on it and write all over it. it might be kind of neat to see what that looks like. Um, maybe uh, I could go in and see some of those to when you're finished. So give it a try. Um, let us know what's working, what's not working. Touch base with me and we'll see if we can't make this a really great tool for people to use. Okay, thanks. Bye.